Well, according to the National Union of Mine Workers, several mining companies continue to operate with reduced staff. Noon President Joseph Mundisete joins me now, of course, for more details. Joseph, thank you so much uh, for your time. Uh, let's talk about these particular mines that you referred to. Uh, as I've read in your press uh, statement, which are these mines? Please name them. Okay, no, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity uh, to talk to the mine workers in general, in particular, union members. Uh, we are deeply concerned uh, about the fact that um, the United Nations itself has declared this disease as a pandemic, and uh, the country president has said a national disaster, and the lockdown was declared by the president that uh, we must remain in our houses. He met with the Minister of Minerals, whereby uh, he told us that uh, the only operation will be on the coal mines that supply coal uh, to ESCOM. And uh, also, um, we can maintain it all over uh, across to make sure that mining is not uh, deteriorating. But as we are here now, uh, we are very much um, concerned about uh, a turnaround strategy which has been made by the Department of DMR. Uh, after we met them, they then uh, published uh, a media press to say that uh, uh, mine, mine, mine companies should apply for permits to operate. If we are speaking Anglo-American, it's operating um, in all its operations uh, from Halakwena uh, to in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the in uh, to the Northern Cape, Colomela, uh, they are operating and making production. Uh, and that, that is wrong. And uh, we have another uh, mine called the Fosco, which is in full co operation, uh, also in, 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 in Limpopo. And the workers are not even given uh, the mask uh, and, the, and the precaution measures are not in place. And uh, also there's nothing about workers being paid extra. Uh, for risking their lives. Uh, we have BMR, uh, which is uh, in Matosan area, owned by the Chinese, uh, which has forced workers to come back uh, for full operation. Uh, we are saying this is very wrong. Despite the fact that these people are claiming that uh, they have given a penny, we are questioning, uh, because uh, according to the minister, he said that there must be an agreement between uh, union and management if there should be some kind of minimum operations, but there has never been any such. And if uh, the minister was serious, he would treat this as Section 54, that you will never give any company a, a credibility unless the union has endorsed it. But instead, companies go alone to the DMR, and they are given the right to operate. This is to render uh, trade union useless, and they also this is to endanger the lives of people. Now, I have to ah. come in there, uh, uh, Mr. Muntisetsi. You mentioned uh, that you find that the permits with which they say they have to operate uh, questionable. Uh, but you also mentioned that there seems to be illegal and exploitative activities going around in terms of the workers who are still working there, one being the no work, no pay, uh, sort of like stance which these companies have taken. Have you engaged with them? Has there been any response as to why they are allowing their workers to to work at this time? You would understand that as for now, we are locked in houses. We cannot even engage. Uh, but uh, the, the issue of no work, no pay, it has been triggered by the fact that uh, the department has agreed with companies to give them a permit. And you must understand that those workers were released by companies to go home. And they don't stay around the mine. Some of them come from the Eastern Cape, from Limpopo, from Botswana, from Zazin, and so on. So, uh, if the company are given permit and then they are told that uh, they can operate, so they want to call the people back, but if there's lockout, there's no transport. We think that is unfair. Uh, the department has actually treated our members very unfair. Uh, Harmony also at uh, the, the, the Krapan operation uh, near Mafike, we are told that it is in full operation, which is very wrong. Uh, I mean, all these companies that have taken decisions uh, to go and ask for payment. It means that consciously they don't care what is happening in Italy where 4,000 people have already died. Uh, Iran, more than 400 people have already died. People are dying around the world. Uh, this we thought uh, employers with responsibility. 
will not uh, actually endanger the lives of uh, its workers. But we squarely uh, put uh, any responsible to any uh, employer if this uh, 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 coronavirus can, can happen, outbreak in any mine. They will take responsibility for that. All right, then. We'll have to leave it at that. Joseph Mundisetzi, the NUM president, thank you so much for uh, talking to us at this time. Quite concerning there, uh, Tula yeah. Cesar, for the NUM president to raise some of these concerns uh, to say that if ever these named companies, mining companies, have mm -hmm. permits, they find them questionable uh, that they are, how they, first of all, accumulated them and the fact that they even say yeah. uh, they're credible uh, permits, but also, you know, the, 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 the working conditions with which these miners are working is a concern for the union. Yeah, absolutely. And you and I were insisting that he should name the company right. and we did that deliberately to then uh, put the burden on pr of proof on those companies because if indeed they are operating at this time um, it's not a secret operation you can't run a mine secretive right you should be able to come on board and tell us what exactly is happening so he did name quite a number of companies and we do hope to hear from them uh, about whether or not they've been operating uh, despite the lockdown because the only mines that can operate are those that are deemed essential services Services, right. such as the coal mines right. that supply ESCOM, but also mines are allowed to be on care and maintenance mm -hmm. to make sure that the assets are not damaged during this lockdown.